So a while ago, probably, when was it? Uh, quite a while ago, probably about a few months, five months maybe, I don't know. Um, I made a video where I did a hit film tutorial. That's got about 20 views, and, which is pretty good for me, because, um, yeah. <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed making it, and a lot of people seem to really like it. So I thought I'd make another one, but not really for that reason. It's just, yeah. Um, it's not because of the views, okay? It's not because of the views. It's just because I felt like doing it, okay? Um, but... Yeah, and another question, I, I don't know if this is a question that people would ask you me, but I mean, if you are wondering, do I edit my videos with HitFilm? No, I don't. Um, yeah, it's quite a f there's two main reasons for it. One, I mean, it's just quicker to do it on iMovie, and I know it sounds bad, but I don't really need to do any complex stuff for that, um, but when I'm doing a short film or something, I'll do it on here. The yeah, other reason is this laptop does not have much storage at all. I had to clear storage just to be able to start screen recording. That's how bad it is. So yeah. Um, also, I've got my new microphone. Um, just because I yeah. Well, it's a headphone one, but yeah. Um, so the first thing we want to do. So oh yeah. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you a bit about camera tracking and. Sounds It sounds a bit intimidating, but it's really not. It's actually quite easy. So first of all, we're going to make a composite shot. Doesn't matter what it's called, really. Um, yeah. Uh, for mine, I'm just going to zoom it in a bit. I think that should work better, maybe. So yeah, let's zoom it in. And I specifically made this video quite wobbly. Um, yeah. So. Oh, wow. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's quite it's quite wobbly, and that's just yeah. I don't care. Okay. Um. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'm just seeing if um seems to be a thing where like if I talk into it or something, it seemed to have started doing it. I think it's just, okay, I, I won't play through it or anything now. So, camera tracking, yeah, uh, my, so we're gonna split this up into parts. Part one is gonna be, uh, tracking something so it looks like it's in the scene but it's not moving. Part two, tracking something so it's, Looks like it's in the scene, but it is moving, so it's, yeah. Like how I did in the Star Wars fan film I made when I did camera tracking, where there was like a, I think there was X-Wings going by, but they looked like they were in the scene as well. I, was, I can't remember what it was, but I'll show it on screen now, anyhow. Um, so first what we want to do is we want to create a new layer, which is going to be a new point. So it doesn't matter where it is at the moment, but yeah. So we're going to go there, and we're going to add a new track. So, um, there we have to drag it out a bit. This is just so it's easier to track. We need to find a good space in it that's going to be there the whole time, I think. Um, this might be good. Probably about there. Uh, maybe that would work. It doesn't really matter. Um, just so long as it's in the scene the whole time. I think I'm gonna go for deer. Let's try that. Um, just has to be in the scene the whole time. So I've forgotten how to do this. How do we do this? Oh yeah, I don't talk like that. Okay, so we just go. Do you mind? Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, also, if you. If you're using the newest version of HitFilm, which is just called HitFilm Express, I know it's weird because <laughs> it's the it sounds older. Um, that this will still work with it. Um, it it will still work with this. Okay, so yeah, don't worry about um, it not working because it will. Um, as far as I'm aware, it will anyhow. Um, yeah, so, well, it 
yeah, it will work. I've, u I've used it a bit, but I just... <laughs> there's not enough storage to update it, really. Honestly. Um, sounds a bit stupid, but... It's the truth, honestly. Um, it's pretty bad. So, what we want to do now is we go Purpose, Transform, Layer, and Edit to the New Point. So then we click Apply, and it will have done it. So we go back into the viewer, it will have changed it for us. So then we can go New Point, we can watch, and look, it's following the scene, which is really good. And, yeah. So what we want to do now is we want to go... Uh, so I think another a cool thing we could do is add like a planet there. I, I I just think this is a really cool way of doing something. Um, so yeah, you want to do something like a uh, sand background, something like that. So this is gonna look like a sandy planet. Um, uh, something like that would look pretty cool. I think. Um. Let's go save image to download. Um, okay, so now we've got our sand picture there. It doesn't really matter what you chose. It doesn't have to be sand. You could do, just as long as it's really a texture, it, it, it would work. You could even probably have one of your own face or something on it. It would, it would come out looking really weird, but yeah. So this is a really cool thing you can do. So you drag it on top of the, uh, um, keep it, there for now, I think. I don't know. Um, really, and now we go. Um, what was it called again? Sphere. Yeah. Sphere. Layer only. And now, if we. Hold on. If we go transform and go in the scale. What? I forgot how to do this. So if we do that and then zoom out the radius, starting to look pretty good. So then what you want to do is you want to go here, you want to go into, because it's pretty small at the moment, um, well actually it's not that small, we could probably just get away with putting it there really, yeah, but as you can see at the moment it doesn't really look right, it, it doesn't blend in with the scene, so what we want to do is we want to turn down the opacity a bit. That just makes it look a whole lot better. And then we want to make a mask around it. So maybe use this, yeah. Using the sphere mask works well. And then we go like that. And we go, click that invert mask thing. So yeah, then we can go out of that. Ah, oh, it looks a bit, yeah, I've, I've gone. Alright, um, go feather strength, turn up the feather strength a bit. That's starting to look pretty good, so, um, still kind of doesn't hit the scene. I think I might, um, turn down the opacity a tiny bit more. I think that looks good there. So now we've created a planet, and, but as you can see, it still doesn't fit in the scene. So, um, I'm just going to move that up a bit because I think it looks best there. So we're going to keep it there for now, but well, we're going to have to keep there. I don't know what I'm saying. So we're going to put apply the layer to the new point layer, which means that it's going to follow the new point wherever it goes, which is following the track, which is using it from the scene. So now if we look at it, it looks really good and it looks, it actually looks like it's in the scene. Which is great, but the other problem is, well, it's not a problem, but um, what I was thinking of doing now is adding a cool light effect, because I think that would just work so well for it. So we go new layer, plain, we had a plain black, and we'll call this uh, sun. Um, we go controls, layer properties, and we set the blend mode to add. So now it's disappeared, and that's actually good, because that's what we want for this. So I'm going to go into, um, I'm just going to save where I am at the moment, because this um, crashes a lot. So I'm going to go into, uh, where is it, lights and flares, and get the light flares, and drag it onto the sun plane. So when it loads, yep, yeah, so we can see now that we've got a pretty good looking light. 
And we could stop there, but I'm going to change my light type because I want it to look like a, um, I want it to look like a, um, space scene or something. I don't know. I'm probably doing too many Star Wars videos <laughs> or something, um, on my channel, but whatever. Flashlight LED. We, we could, there's a f quite a few we can do. Um, but what would look good? Uh, I, c I can't decide. Uh, we could do something like, yeah, I don't know, really. Um, TV camcorder? Actually, that looks pretty good for this. I might just make it smaller. First, um, so we're gonna turn down the scale. Yep. We'll put it there. I think that's good. Actually, hold on. Um, first of all, I just want to do this one thing first. Um, fix light flares, and we just need to make sure that the whole thing is showing. Cause position, uh, that's what position. I can't. Remember. Hmm. What should we do? Uh, think if we sc ah scale. So we'll turn down the scale a bit so it's like that. So. We just need it all in the frame, otherwise it's going to look weird when we're doing uh, things like um, tracking it, because then there'll be parts cut off and it won't look weird. It it'll look weird and it won't look real. So I mean, it's not real, but um, we kind of want it. To, we want to um, make it look real. Uh, I'm gonna have it like that. I think. Actually, no. I think I'll keep it how it is. Uh, like that. And I'll put it over there. So... Actually, I might put it up there a bit more. So... Now what's going to happen is... We're going to... We're going to do the same thing we did with our... Um, with our planet. So we're going to uh, apply this layer to the new point. So now if we play through... It's looking pretty good. So yeah, what we want to do now is th the other thing is though, there's nothing moving in it. So we're gonna make something move. So I'm gonna add. I'm gonna get a picture of a. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get a picture of. I'll get a picture of a. Star Wars vehicle and I'll be back. Okay, so I've now got my um, spaceship in it. Make sure it's a PNG, otherwise you're going to have to do uh, masking, which isn't exactly fun. So, yeah, you don't want to be doing that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here, but first of all, it's too big, and second of all, it doesn't look right in the scene. So we're going to have to do some uh, color correction and things like that just to get it to look good. So I think we're going to make it go past the uh, maybe. That would look quite cool. Um, that that might look good if we were making it go past there. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have it there and we're going to make it go like that across there. So yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, oh, I'm just going to, I need to save over and over again. Uh, we're going to, first of all, I'll do the color correction first. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, um, I think we'll go into color correction and we'll go brightness and contrast. So this is quite a bluish scene. There's a lot of blue in it. So. Well, ah, this is the wrong one. Whoops. Uh, actually, no, this could work. Yeah, we'll keep it like that, I think. I'm just going to turn down the opacity a bit. So, it sort of looks like it's going through fog or something. We could actually add some clouds in as well. I might do that next. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to, again, apply it to our new point. So, we could... Just do that, and it looks pretty good anyhow. Um, 
I do realize that it's not completely well done in the scene, but it's really just down to, I, I think it's something with perspective or something, because I think I was tracking something that was closer rather, rather than further away, so, um, that, just remember that, but, um, otherwise it's just that I deliberately made it very shaky for this, for the point of this video, um, so yeah. It's not my, it's not just that I'm really bad, it's just that I was purposefully making it shaky. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the position. I'm going to change the position of it, so we, now when we go to there, we can change the position to, say, all the way over there. So now, it's basically going to look perfect, I think. It's going to look slow like a Star Destroyer, but it's, oh, not really that slow, but, um, yeah, looks pretty good, so, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna change the position at the end, just so it's, where it looks a bit better, so I might zoom out a bit, uh, then put it, say, there, should be good, so I'll just scale to fit, and then, Go to the start again, and we play through. That looks great, I think. So, it is a bit shaky, and I, I realize that, but... I mean, for the purpose of this video, it's fine. So, basically, yeah. So, I might add now the clouds, as I said I was going to do, which will just make it look really good. So, in th quick 3D, we'll do fluffy clouds, because... This works best. Already it looks great in the scene, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is and then yeah, so I might just uh it actually I might just turn down the opacity a tiny bit and yeah. So I'll just do that and I'll just let the sun go through as well, but I'll keep it like that. I think uh Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, cloud, cloud, I exhalate the cloud! Okay, um, right, we've got the cloud selected now, so I'll put that there, so I want it to be above, but yeah, that looks good, and I might add another one, I might duplicate that and put it behind, but I'll just, uh, it doesn't really matter, um, I'll we'll just trick to the new point first. And then duplicate it's this. It's also attached to the new point, so we can just put this one, say, maybe slightly up a bit. So yeah, that's actually looking really good now. So um, I'll just play through that one more time, and I'd say that looks really good. And um, I know I know it's not really that good, but um, I think it. I think it's actually just a slight lag because I have to track, I think I have to render it first, so I'll just um, do that quick, actually no, I'll just put down the opacity first, I might do it to 50%, opacity, 50, um, yeah, so I'll actually I don't think that, maybe it up a bit, let's put it at 75, that, uh, 90. Yeah, that's good. I'll try with the other one. We'll do it with the other one now. Let's go 90. Didn't really do much, so I might put that at 50 actually. Uh, no, we'll put it at 75. Let's do 80. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do now. So that's got a really real realistic. Um, so just looks good. Um, so now we can, I'll just uh, render it or preview it as they like to call it. Okay, so only some of it managed to render. It was only up to there, but then it just stopped, so, I mean, 
when it when it's um when I export it, it'll be fine. Uh, also, I'm gonna leave the finished thing in the description as a .zip file. So if you wanna download that, that's fine. I know I use Star Wars and again, and a lot of people probably want to use this for their own original thing, but um. Yeah, I had to do Star Wars. I'm sorry. I, I had to. Um, but yeah, so just get creative with it. Do what, do what you want to do with it. And yeah, thanks for watching. So I'll see you in another video. So yeah, bye.